Hey everybody, it's Alex. Um, I just tried to film a short video on my uh, my tablet instead of on the camera, so I could just download or upload right from the from the tablet to YouTube, and it wasn't wanting to upload, so I have to redo it, and I'm doing it on my camera. But it's okay because on my camera you can see like I mean like if I held something right here you could see it, but if I wanted to get up close for you to like read the words or something, my camera does a really good job, and the tablet stunk. So, I just want to show you some things. Um, my daughter and I went to Tuesday morning yesterday. My husband came home a little early, so we used the car and we went over there. And I wanted to show you some things that we picked up. So first, we found this Ginger um, American Crafts brand stamp set. I like the font. It's in cursive. So you could, like, try to connect you know, the little swoopy things. Super cute. I like the and. And they were $1.99. See, if I would have done this, it would have been all blurry. So, found that. Then we found this Halloween set. And I really wanted, I mean, I wanted this one too, but um, I wanted the one with the donkey on it and the cupcake. But um, I really like the clouds here with the stars. And then this stamp is separate from this outline, so you can use this for whatever you want and then cut it out. And then this one down here, to me it looks like tire tread. You know, like tire marks in the dirt or something. Can you move that please? Because I'm not showing that right now. Thank you. Um, next stamp set is this one called Ruthie by American Crafts. I really like the font of that too. Please put that back. Put it back. Thank you. And this one has some cute little, like look, it has quotation marks. I love that. A little asterisk. Really cute. And this was $1.99. Let's see. Then we found this Adhesive Tech Fine Line Glue. It says the glue you can write with. Great for dis for design, I was about to say decision, <laughs> and I thought to myself, decision doesn't make sense. Great for design work on paper and fabric. So, and it's supposed to have, like, like, see that pointed tip? Yeah, that's what it has. Anyways, it was 99 cents, so I thought that was really good. Then, they had stickers, but only this pink set. And this is called fabric stickers, and look, see the fabric, like you could see the texture. Oh, I'm so glad I chose to do this instead of the tablet because you wouldn't be able to see it. But anyways, these were $1.99 versus Michael's $4.99, so I got four of those. And since I have lots of pictures of Bianca, they'll go pretty quick. Then I found this Library Pocket Punch for $5.99. And there was another one. What was the other one? There was some shapes. There was one that was like a boot and one that was like a hand. And then there was one that did, um, I think, the envelope. But I, I just like this one, the little pocket. Mom, go on there. Where? Right there. See how it's well fine? Oh, no, it's okay, but that's because you left the screen door open. I tell these kids all the time about leaving the door open. Then we found these little puffies for $2.99. has these red and white hearts. Then these pink and light pink hearts. Red and white stars. And white stars. So the fourth is coming up, so that would be cute. And also for my son's boy pages, you know, stars is a... Those would be really cute. So those were $2.99 for four, so less than a dollar a pack. You wanna look at them? I also got this pack of puppies with the blue and white stars, silver stars. These are so cute, these little pink and polka dot flowers. And then these gold ones here. And these were $2.99 also, so four again for $3. Um, then I also found this tool. It's 
pretty windy. It's blowing your stuff around out there, Bianca. Don't step on my stuff, girl. Step right on my card. Ugh. Jeez. It says it's designed for piercing small holes in craftworks. And so since I um, put your lid on so it won't blow away. It's really windy outside. She was coloring and playing outside on her little princess table and everything's blown away. And then she gets all excited and steps up, gets up to walk out the door and just steps right on the card that I was going to show you that I made. Ugh, it's heartbreaking. <laughs> Anyways, you know those piercer, hole piercer? Please don't step on my stuff. Thank you. Tools for like brads and stuff. Well, that's like pretty, kind of hard to find. So I thought maybe this would work. So I grabbed that. Then the last thing, I grabbed this for $2.99. And the Dear Lizzie Neapolitan set has sort of this washed out pastel -y color to it. So I thought these would go really good. These brads would go good with the paper. And then these um, School Days mini brads. Then these, um, they're called Posh Metal Stickers. But they remind me of those badges and button um, people are ordering from that, I mean, from that store, badges and buttons. <sighs> Sorry, there's like a, a fly on my hand. <laughs> um, and then this one. So, that was it from Tuesday morning. Then we stopped at Michael, or not Michael's, um, Target. And I found these in the scrapbooking section on clearance for $1.72. They're the Isabella Grace collection. They're really cute. I opened them up. There's um, 51 pieces. Then in the dollar spot, I found these gel pens. And these I thought were really pretty. They're like really pastel color because I guess they're for the Easter. But I thought I liked those colors a lot. Then these are super cute. These cards, like these, the teal with the pink and the white. And it just says, thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, I love these little cards. Then this is dollar spot paper, but I didn't find it in the dollar spot. It was back in the scrapbooking stuff. But these are the papers that you get in here. And that, there was only one, one pack. So that was that for a dollar. And real quick, I'm going to show you the couple of cards I was working on. This one I finished um, last night. She stepped on it. Um, of the gorgeous girl so I don't know if you could see like all the glitter on there and her little heart and her cards but um yeah I used a couple different packs of paper um this one is from like one of those vintage stack things uh, I, can, I can see it in my head but I can't picture or I can't um, remember the words um, yeah, and then just some sheer blue ribbon. I used blue to bring out the blue in the hearts. And I used some brads from the Goodwill that I found. And yep, that's that card. I finished this one this morning. This is like my sort of St. Patrick's day e card. <laughs> um, that girl is, I ordered her off the Greeting Farm website a while ago. I put a little Recollections flower in her hair. I used two different stacks again, but I used that same green polka dot paper. I liked it. Um, I had a stamp that I have a stamp that says "Lucky Me," and I just wiped off the "me" part and I just stamped "Lucky" everywhere. And some of it like messed up, and some of it didn't, but I liked it. Look kind of grungy. Then I glued these buttons down and with some Martha Stewart Baker's twine, and I tied some brown ribbon. And anyways, it's just stamp, stamped "Lucky, Lucky, Lucky," and then I put "In Love" in little type letters, so "Lucky in Love." you know, St. Patrick's Day stuff. Also, I wanted to show you, um, this was the little stamp that I had ordered from um, Stamper's Best, a little notebook paper stamp. I think this is like the cutest thing ever. I stamped them onto yellow card stock. I mean, excuse me, yellow card stock. And I cut them out, and that was the result. Then, the little Lawn Fawn stamp set that Stephanie had stamped on some paper and sent it to me in like one of my very first racks last year from her and I colored that in and cut it out. 
so that's all I wanted to show you guys. I hope you guys enjoy and have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, guys, bye. Say bye. Bye. Bye-bye.